Okay, lesson 7-4, solving word problems with uh, using graphs. So we're going to go ahead and take our page here. Okay, so we have a scaled picture graph, which again, scaled means that a symbol represents some number of items, okay? Um, so again, looking at a graph, first the title, students' favorite trees. The type of tree, we have the maple, the elm, the oak, and the pine, and these are the number of votes, which the key is telling us that a full leaf equals two votes and half of leaf equals one vote. So um, each whole symbol represents two votes, and each half of a symbol, this half of a leaf here, is going to equal one vote. And how many different kinds of trees do we have represented? There are four different type of trees represented in the graph. Okay, so you can use picture graphs and bar graphs to compare data and to draw conclusions. What are some conclusions you can draw from the picture graph above? Okay, Two fewer students choose pine than choose. Okay, now whenever they word it like this, you have to be very careful. Make sure you're understanding. Two fewer students choose pine than choose whatever is here. There are two more students here than chose pine. So pine is less. Are you seeing that? Two fewer students chose pine, which means we want to list a type of tree that two more students chose than pine. So look at pine. We have three whole leaves, which means there's six. So we want a type of tree that eight people voted for, because if eight people voted for that, then two fewer students chose pine, and that would be six. So which one of these did eight students vote for? So if each leaf stands for two votes, two, four, six, eight, maple would be eight. So if maple is eight and pine is six, two fewer students chose pine than chose maple. So maple is, is more than pine. Five more students chose oak than chose some other tree. Now whatever tree is over here, has less students, five less students than the oak. So if we look at the oak, we got two, four, six, eight, ten. So we want, so five more students. So basically, two and a half, two and a half leaves, five more students. These are the more students, these are the extra students. Five more students chose oak than something else. So which one of these other trees? If oak is 10 and five more students chose oak than something else, then that means we're looking for one that only has five leaves, which would be elm. So if you look at elm, five more students, so here they're, they're tied, right? If they're, they're two, four, plus one, they have five. So that ties them right here. And then there's five more students than chose, chose oak than elm. And you have to read it again to make sure it makes sense. Five more students chose oak than chose elm. So oak is 10, elm is five. So five more students chose oak than elm. So that makes sense. Okay, the bar graph shows the time a student spent reading in one week. What conclusion can you draw from the graph? And they're just, they're asking you to answer these questions, okay? The total time spent reading for the entire week is how many minutes? Well, okay, <clears throat> reading in one week is our title. Minutes spent reading, day one, day two, day three, day four, day five. If we added up all five days, that's going to tell us the entire week. So this is 20, this is 25, 15, 10 and 15. So pause the video, add up the total number of minutes for the week and write that there. Pause it and go ahead. Okay, so you need to add all these up here. 20, 25, 
15, 10, and 15. So three fives is 15, carry the one, four, five, six, seven, eight. Four, five, six, seven, eight. So it should be 85 minutes. 45, 55, 65, 70, 85. Yep, 85 minutes total for the week. Five more minutes were spent reading on what day than on day five, day one, excuse me. So five more minutes were spent reading on a certain day than on day one. That means that day one is less than whatever this day is, five minutes less. Day one is five minutes less than this day because on this day, they read for five more minutes. So if day one is 20, we want a day that's, that's 25. Day one is 20 minutes, right? So on what day did they spend five more minutes reading? So figure that out and write it in there. Should be day two. Okay, on the back, write and answer a question using the data in the picture graph. This is the picture graph. Remember the picture graph actually has pictures in it. Bar graph uses bars. So use the data in the picture graph and you need to write a question like, how many more students chose pine tree than elm tree? Or um, how many students chose apple, I mean, maple and elm total or together? You know, how many more students chose oak than pine? Something like that. Write the question and answer it and then write and answer a question using the data in the bar graph. So, you know, how many days did the students read on day four and five combined? Or um, how many more minutes did they read in day three compared to day two? Something like that. Or how many more minutes did they read in day two compared to day three? Something like that. So write and answer, right? And so on the back, you have to write a question from here and answer it, and a question from this graph and answer it, okay? Good job. See you tomorrow.